Hello and welcome to Excellence Academy. Let's look at a second example on quotient through differentiation. So let's say I'm given y being equal to um, 14x plus 3 all to the power 4 all over 2x squared plus 7 all to the power 3. Let's say I'm giving this to differentiate. Of course, um, if I look at this, I can see that I'm having y being equal to 4x plus 3 all to the power 4 divided by 2x squared plus 7 all to the power 3. So this, um, this is dividing this, hence it becomes a quotient through differentiation problem. So as usual, I'll call my numerator u. So I'll say let u be equal to the numerator here. I'm having 14x um, plus 3 all to the power 4. This now looks like a chain rule differentiation question. So I'll get du over dx using chain rule. Thankfully, we've already gotten a shortcut to chain rule. So if I use the shortcut here, it becomes case 1. Write out the power, that's 4. Next up, differentiate this one here. It gives you 14 repeat this question here i'm having 14x plus 3 subtract one from here it gives you 3. all right from here now if i work on this this is now equal to if i multiply these two um gives you 64 into work on this it becomes 14x plus 3 all to power 3 so i have this next up i'll call this v so i'll say let's v be equal to what i have here that's 2x squared plus 7 all the power what there 3 i'll differentiate v with respect to x using the chain rule shortcut so i'll have that dv all over dx is equal to right at the part here that's 3 differentiate the question here i'm having 4x repeat this it gives you 2x squared plus 7 subtract one here it gives you two if i work on this this is now equal to this now equal to um four three times four here gives you 12x into i'm having this as 2x squared plus seven so i'm having 2x squared plus seven all to part two so all to part two this is now the value for dv all over dx at this point now recall the chain rule for the quotient rule formula please all right so recall that from quotient rule we said the y over the x is equal to v du over the x minus u dv all over the x all over v squared at this point i'll now substitute values so I'm having V. Um, v from what we have here is this. So this is V. So I'm having V as um, I'm having V as 2x squared plus 7. 2x squared plus 7 all to power 3. So all to power 3. Here's my V. Next up, impute d u over dx. Um, d u over dx is this becomes becomes 64 into 14x plus 3 all to power 3 minus u u is this um, u is 14x plus 3 all to power 4 into the v over the x which is this here so the v over the x is equal to 12x all into 2x squared plus 7 all squared so i'm having v d over the x minus u dv over the x all over v squared so it becomes all over v squared v is this so it becomes um 2x squared plus 7 this cube so this is v 
all squares. It becomes this squared. All right, so expand brackets now. If I expand brackets, what do I have? I'll take this first, that's 64. So it gives you 64 into, take this one next if you want to, or this, whichever way. Uh, I'm choosing to take this one next. So it gives you 2x squared plus 7 all to part 3. Take this next. I'm having 14x plus 3 all cubed. All right, so I'm having this as this minus, so minus, work on this. I'll take this one first. It gives you 12x into, um, I use this one, so I'm taking this one next here. It gives you 2x squared plus 7 all squared, that's this. Finally, this one here, I'm having 14x plus 3 all to the power 4. I'm having this all over all over this square using the laws of indices 3 multiplies 2 to give you 6 so I'm having um, 2x squared plus 7 into 3 times 2 I'm having 6 so at this point now I can factorize this um, pick out like terms you can see 64 here you can see 12 um, see this one here can see this can see this i can see this all right so how do i factorize first of all between 64 and 12 um, i could pick out four all right so divide here by four i have 16 divide here by four i have three so my first factor there is four next up uh, there's an x here there is no x here so I'll leave it alone. That is an x standing alone here. There is no x standing alone here. So I'll leave out x. Next up, I can see 2x squared plus 7. I can see 2x squared plus 7. This is to part 3. This is to part 2. I'll take the least part. The least part here is to part 2. So I'll take out this one here. It becomes 2x squared plus 7 all squared. Next up. I can see 14x plus 3 to power 3. I can see 14x plus 3 to power 4. I'll take out the list. So between 3 and 4, the list is this one here to power 3. So it becomes 14x plus 3 to power 3. So understand how the concept works. When I'm having like terms raised to a power, I'll take away that term and then I'll take the least power. For this case, the least power here, between for 2x squared plus 7, these two, my least power here was 2, so I took out 2. For this case here, the least power is 3, so I took out 3 instead. So that's like the idea of factorizing questions like this. If I work on this now, it becomes um, 64 divided by 4, I have 16. Okay, next up, this is the, this is this square, this is the power 3. Alright, so if I divide, this is 2 of it, this is 3 of it. If I take away 2 from this, I'm left with just 1 of it. So I'm now left with um, 2, 12, 2x 2 squared plus 7 to the power 1. Just 1 of it left. Next up, 12 divided by 4 gives you 3. So I'm having minus 3. So there's a minus here. So minus 3. I can see the x here. So bring down x. So I'm having x here. Next up, this is the part 2, this is the part 2. So they cancel out to give you 1. This is the part 3, this is the part 4. Alright, so if I take away 3 of these from 4, I'm left with just 1 of it. So it becomes 14x plus 3. I'm having this. Alright, so this becomes my answer after factorization. Don't forget, this is all over v squared. So it becomes all over v squared. Um, this one here so it gives you 2x squared plus 7 to the power 6 so this becomes your answer to this question using quotient rule so this is how it's been solved